What's up, big students? Uh, I guess this is very vlog-like. I'm on my way down to get all the kits that were just dropped off by uh, the shipper. I got my trusty hand truck here. Um, hopefully, you are uh, finding ways to, to cope with this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move around and show you uh, how big the stack of piles are for uh, 55 kits. Uh, what do 55 Arduino kits look like? They look like this. We have uh, two boxes right here and we have two boxes down there. Change of plans, there's going to be no pickup uh, so that's why I have right here all these mailing labels uh, to ship your packages. I just want to give a shout out to Stella who is um, bringing them over to my house so we can slap on all these uh, labels and get them in the post office uh, before things uh, really go into shutdown and lockdown today. So hopefully you'll get these kits and you're watching this as you are opening it up. Um, and if that is the case, that means we were successful. Here we are, this is collectively uh, 52 or 54 and the 55th of all of the Arduino kits. Um, they all come with everything you need. We are going to unbox this one and show you what's in here. All right, uh, here is our Arduino kit. It's not Arduino brand, it is Elegoo brand. And so let's have at this. This should have everything that is uh, necessary for working through a whole bunch of experiments with Arduino. Um, just want to say, support me on Patreon. I'm just kidding. Um, you can check out our sponsors at the end of the show. Um, so let's start opening this up. Hopefully I'm not going to slice through anything. What is in the kit? Oh, that's awesome. It comes already pre-packaged in this nice carry-all case. So the Super Starter Uno R3 project. Um, a lot of this may be mistranslated in terms of the documentation. I had mentioned that, but that's okay. Um, the stuff, again, my experience with all of this is it's all quality stuff. It all actually works. Um, so let's clear it off the table. Let's see what we got inside. A CD-ROM for the disk drive that you do not have on your computer. Um, instead of actually plugging this in, I will post um, all the PDF uh, information that's on here but for the most part, we don't need this. Most of the software that you'll need is gonna come from the Arduino website directly. So instead of saving this, and actually this one looks like it has some problems anyways, you have a nice diffraction grating that you can reflect off and stuff. Um, inside is a description of all of the components that come with this kit. So you have everything you need to go on an Arduino journey. The Arduino board, the actual Arduino board, this is the anti-static packaging that um, protects it because depending on how it's shipped and stuff like that, there are things that could damage this board. But once you have it in your home, you don't have to store it in that packaging. So this is also disposable. Just like we had gone through in class, this is the board that is powered by the um, Atmega 328P chip. It is inserted here. This is nicer than some of the other cheap ones because you can actually pull the chip out and put a, a different one in. It has all the parts that we had talked about, the power regulator section, the, the different oscillators, the quartz and the ceramic, the USB converter, all the pins, and this is using what's called USB type B, which is different from the more rectangular USB A. But you will have a cable inside that goes from USB A male to USB B mail, and this will hopefully work with your computers. If you're using a laptop that only has a USB C, then it is dongle land for you. Um, this also has a very uh, tiny little breadboard. Um, actually, I should have a couple of them. This one right here, you might think this is not the breadboard. I want to cut myself if I'm not careful. Um, This is designed as what's called a shield. So this is something where you can add stuff to, you can solder to it, and then mount it directly on. And so you still have access to those pins, but you may want to connect other things on here. So this is probably something 
for more independent Arduino project. It gives you flexibility for doing things. And this is a little tiny adhesive breadboard you could put on there for flexibility and doing stuff with the shield. Again, it's all for flexibility. Um, you should have a whole bunch of LEDs, including the three or the four pin RGB LEDs. And so these are all gonna be the common cathode flavor RGB LEDs. If you notice that this is a more frosted dome, the frosted dome ones tend to be the common cathode, the more transparent dome tend to be the common anode. Um, looking at this chip right here, this, uh, this looks like these are motor driver chips and buzzers. Um, you have buttons, diodes, photoresistors. Of course, you gotta have a nine volt battery. And then the convenient thing, so you don't have to worry about power supplies, is you have a nine volt battery with the DC barrel jack that can plug right into here. Um, the breadboard that you have, oh, you have a nice uh, little fan blades to put on the various motors that come with this. So let's see, what else we got? We have an LCD, a liquid crystal display. Um, so this plugs on to part of this. You can put in the breadboard and route wires to it, or depending on how you adjust your pinouts, go directly, and then you can make this say stuff. Uh, the typical uh, standard code for using an LCD display that's built into Arduino is the Hello World code. Um, we have a remote control. So this has a little infrared um, output diode that you can use a receiver diode on the board to receive stuff from this remote control and then further send instructions to Arduino remotely. You have packs of resistors. These resistors are a little different than the ones we've been using because the color code is a little different. Instead of the three band color code, this is, it looks like the one, two, three, four, uh, four band color code plus one for tolerance. So, um, but they're all labeled down here as well. So you have resistors and um, hopefully you will keep them all nice and arranged and sorted. You have a nice big breadboard. And just a little reminder, let's see what kind of breadboard type this is. Ah, this has connection all the way down, so there's no need to jump along the length of the rail. So one of these that is connected all the way down, a lot of breadboard real estate to work with here. Um, so you can do uh, multiple circuits or one big circuit. It'll be up to you. Um, of course, you have various length jumper wires. These technically are the DuPont uh, male jumper wire, male to male. These are DuPont male to female jumper wires. These are kind of like extensions, or these can be used for extending stuff like these pins coming off of a component so that you can send them to different places. So these jumper wires you'll find might be useful too. This uh, part itself is actually a little joystick that you can put the little knob on and so you can move stuff around. Um, basically send this into the board and then the board can control something else based on joystick motions. Let's see, what else do we got in this goodie box? Um, a standard DC motor. That's what this little fan blade is for. Um, this is a, let's see, LM324. What is this? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. Duh. This is the ultrasonic sensor and receiver. So one of these, the T is a transmitter. It sends out ultrasonic pulses, stuff you can't hear, but your dog might. Um, and this is the receiver. It can receive ultrasonic pulses. So this can be used as a proximity detector. I've seen awesome robots made out of these that can sense where they are based on sending a pulse and receiving a pulse, kind of like how bats echolocate. Um, what else do we got? This looks like, this looks like a little logic unit. Um, ULN 2003. Ah, so this, um, got to remember and look up what the ULN 2003 uh, chip is. That's another standard chip that typically comes with Arduinos. It has this ABCD. Um, I wonder if this is wired as a little calculator or something else, but a uh, fun one to possibly explore. This will be one of the um, experiments I mentioned, a servo motor. So a servo motor is not a motor that just spins around, but it rotates a specified number of um, degrees. So you can type in rotate 45 degrees and then the servo motor will rotate accordingly. So you can use this um, not just to turn things, but it can lock things. It's a pretty versatile type of motor. Um, 
Let's see, we have another USB power board. So this is essentially a power distributor for USB stuff. I don't know what this button is. I'll have to look up what, that, what the purpose of this button is, if it's just a kill switch or if it's for something else. But we really just have a few, again, power regulators here uh, for distributing uh, power sources. Um, and again, this is that USB-A format. And then you also have a barrel jack right here. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, here is the infrared receiver. So this is a, um, a phototransistor of sorts. Um, and so this can receive various light pulses. Let's see, further down, um, what do we got here? I don't know what this guy is, but I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh, cool, humidity and temperature sensor. So your Arduino can log uh, what the ambient humidity and temperature is. A lot of Arduinos become weather stations. So that's uh, how they can um, be used sort of as uh, cheap devices in places where you don't want to put up a whole computer. Um, you also have your seven segment LED display times four. So there's, it's controlled a little differently. So you'll have to look up some of the codes if you want to make use of something like this. And then we have a relay, all enclosed. So one of those electromagnetic switches. We have a single seven segment LED display. Um, you'll have to test if it's common cathode or common anode. And then of course, a single 10K potentiometer with a little knob. Um, so you have your three pens for your potentiometer and then you can use that as a control for um, varying resistances of parts of your circuit. So I think that covers pretty much everything that is contained in this kit. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, all of the activities that we're gonna have you do are gonna be possible using this kit. So we're gonna design everything for the next few units for your independent project as based on, again, this kit. So thanks for watching. Um, until next time.